Okay, guys. Welcome. I want to do a little brief video. I'm going to be turning 68 in a couple of weeks now. And I told you I was going to do some practicing and try to get in a little better shape. Uh, I didn't do much, but I did some. And so I want to go ahead and, and show you a couple things that I think you should be looking for as you enter your 70s, like I am. Like, what are you going to look like? And I don't want to look too old. So, some things you want to look at. You want to be limber. You want to be able to do that. That's important. Now, another thing you should do, again, being limber. split. Now, a little hard back there. Now, another thing is doing the push-ups. These are special push-ups. I always like to show people because this is fun. Stretch out all the way. All the way. Put your feet together. Like that. Put your hands together. Like that. And then you press up. All right. Again, good to do these things. Now, the dips and the leg lifts. You can do a lot more with this machine, but these are the important ones. dips. That's for the back of the arm. You want to make that look good. Now, this is Roman chair. I don't know if the Romans had it. Uh, probably. So, you're going to hang and you're going to lift. the belly, out the chest, in through the nose, draw in nitric acid, exhale, now, you want to be able to be a single member, so you want to do your squats, get comfortable, be able to sit like this, and relax. It's hard to imagine in other countries people do this for hours a day. Now, if you want to get exercise, come up to the course. Now, this position, you want to learn how to hold it. You can cheat a little bit, but this is ideal. Now, what this does, this makes these muscles work. You can sit at 90, legs 90, and then hold them. Why? This is a way to do isometric exercise. When you teach the muscles to flush the poisons out instead of flowing back and forth. Isometric.
That's it, that's your calves. Good job. Balance. Simple exercises, but they do so much for you. You separate your legs, give a balance. Things you do for joints, for example, shoulders. Legs can go too, so when you go up, news. Breathe in, add your gas in. Exhale. Other way around. Man, those awesome. And you notice I do my when my eyes close. It gives you a better sense of place, of balance if you can. It takes some time. I wouldn't start that way. But as you become more aware of where you are, it's easier to do things in that state. Eyes closed, hold your balance. I'm gonna keep this short. I realize I don't get much exposure. It's not because I don't make an attempt. I give you lots of opportunity. It just doesn't get shared, commented on, and therefore it doesn't get any traffic. So for the few that do, you want to try to stay youthful. And at 68, if you told me I could do this when I had my scoliosis for 50 years, when I was in pain every day, my broken back killed me, kept me from doing a lot of things. But, we, the eyes of me, the ones I see with, I saw a man at 118 do amazing things and convinced me at 54. I was stupid to think I was old. I was young, I just didn't think young. You think, the Tibetans have done it for ages. Fast, eat right. 
use turmeric and cinnamon, and cayenne pepper and garlic, and all these things that'll help you be stronger, more vital. Eat eggs. You don't have to eat beef every day or anything. Pig, you can eat eggs. Stay lean. So, what you see, I have not worked out in a couple years, but from 55 to about 63, I transformed my body. What I got out of it was what I wanted. I thought I wanted Frank Zane. Then I saw what Frank Zane looked like when he got to be my age. I don't want to be like that. Schwarzenegger, I don't want to be like that. I'd rather be Bruce Lee. I like that. So, <sighs> yeah, that to me is what this is about. How do you stay limber and fast enough to change the way the world works around you in amazing ways? So please, join me on this escapade into you think, into fantasy into what could happen and what could be. Imagine Kennedy, a strong young man in his prime. 66 to 78 kids, that's our prime. That's when we're supposed to look our best. And never looked like this at 68. This is my best. It's gonna get better. I wanna invite you on the ride. I'm leaving other things behind. It's hard to do. I'm leaving my business. I'm going to be a writer. In my childhood, my next youth. I'm going to be a speaker on stages to try to go ahead and help others understand what is possible in person. You'll think, oh, he did some sort of miracle drug. No drugs. He did some sort of plastic surgery. No, no plastic surgery. Oh, goodness, he must be on some amazing supplements. No. I take some vitamin Bs, some Cs, some B, but no, nothing special. Just the good ones. I eat eggs. I eat whole grain bread. I eat organic peanut butter, organic honey. I eat good food, but I don't eat a lot of it. You want to hear a drum? Don't eat a lot of shit. You don't get anything out of a drum if you put shit inside of it. So now we know you can look at your nose and you can tell how healthy you are by how your nose looks. If it's all fat and bulbous, guess what else? It's probably bulbous. It ain't down here. That ain't working no more because you poisoned yourself. If you can live to be 68 what I am, kids. And I say kids. 20-year-olds, 30-year-olds, 40-year-olds, 50-year-olds. When I was 54, I had to wake up in the morning putting an infrared pain relief light on my back for 45 minutes so I could walk straight. I haven't felt pain in my back in several years. I stopped doing my full workouts four years ago to see how long it would last. I lost some weight. I need to go back to doing resistance exercises and stuff like that to gain weight back. Why? I kind of like these. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. And I like being able to get in a wonderful heart on and have wonderful sex better than I ever had in my entire life at 68 and no testosterone supplements eggs do the job so guys I know there's lots of people out there selling all sorts of shit about you do this you do that you buy this you buy I'm not selling nothing I should I'm gonna probably open up a fans only page so people can pay to come and see the workouts learn how to do the push-ups not a lot an hour a day on a mat five days a week got me this yeah. Now, I do have a caved in chest, but it's, I was born with a defect. So the muscles won't look as big as they do in other guys. But I don't want to have big muscles anymore. My son was six foot four. I got to be 205 pounds. I'll be bigger. Well, I didn't get bigger. I was heavier, but I also ended up getting upper abdominal hernia. I also ended up hurting my bursa. It took me a year to get it fixed with acupuncture, not with surgery. And my hernia, I still have. But see it when I got it that was two fingers and part of that third finger in that hole in my gut and they said you gotta have surgery and I said I've been to that movie my best friend at 21 had a 49 year old dad in good shape had surgery for that exact thing and died of the infection 
So I said, I'll just fight it out. He said, you can't heal it yourself. I said, you don't know me. So guess what, guys? That's just some of the push-ups I can do, and it doesn't bother me. It's almost gone. I can't even get a finger through the hole. So what I'm telling you now is, please, don't believe you got to get old. If you believe it, you will. Don't use that as an excuse for letting that belly grow so big you think you got three basketballs stored in there case your kids pick up basketball for a hobby. You got it. Why? First, I don't want to pay for you. I'm not a nurse. I'm not going to care for you if you're sitting in bed. All because you don't do it. Diabetes, heart disease, lung issues, COPD. Sorry. You bought that. It's your problem. Who do you expect to care of you? You bought that problem. Who are you taking care of? So, this is our problem in America. Everybody expects to be taken care of. By who? The taxpayers? Who's that? Who's working? Yeah, you depend on those Generation Z, X people, to support you for doing this to yourself. You're going to find out they're not interested. Even your own children aren't interested. So, get fit. Start thinking about this, old folks. Don't get old until you're 100. You've got a choice. I know, car wrecks, victims, I don't care what your excuses are. There's no excuse for not trying to get better and get healthier. Don't like it? Sorry. Put your comment on the bottom. If you like it, please, for change, put a comment down there and share it. Piss somebody else off. Rub it in their face. Say, hey, Dad, what happened to you? I'll take the heat. I'm good. Jack LaLanne was my inspiration. That little man on that thing right there, lifting his legs up in the air when I was a kid, I didn't ever know anybody else who could do that at that age. That man was special. And when I was a kid in the comic books, Charles Atlas, isometrics, big muscles. I didn't have any. I was a crippled kid. I went like this in the mirror until all of a sudden one day, oh, get that other arm going. Oh, shit. So I got another bump on my arm. That was a muscle. I never had one. I was 14 years old. Please. From a crippled kid, committed suicide and failed and came back. So I can tell you this. 50 years later, never give up. You will be a child again. If you take, you keep a childlike open mind. Let your passions come out. Let them fuel your will, your desire to do something. You're never too old. Join me, please. If I get some followers, I might make some more of these. If nobody watches it, why bother?